In this guide to the top 10 oil locations in Ark Survival Ascended, the island map, I'm gonna show you some brand new ways to get oil that will blow your mind and get you all of the oil you could possibly need, and a lot of them are probably right next to your doorstep and you don't even know it. I'll show you where to get thousands of oil in completely safe locations where nothing will bother you at all, and I'll show you some techniques to get all the oil you could possibly need without even leaving your home. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. Now this is by far the best oil location in Ark Survival Ascended on the island map. And these rocks with all of the layers on them are actually oil nodes. This is what oil nodes look like now in Ark Survival Ascended. And as you can see, we can get a decent amount of oil just from hitting them with a pickaxe. But if you want tons of oil, bring an Ankylosaurus with really good melee and you'll just be piling on the oil from these rocks. So we're here at 8.4, 23.6 and the oil just extends all the way along towards the east, all over these beaches. So we're seeing lots more oil rocks. And we've also got crystal nodes and silica pearls. This is a treasure trove of valuable resources, valuable endgame resources. 9.1, 14.8 has a bunch more oil. This iceberg up here on the very top left corner of the map has a ton of oil nodes all over it. It's much better to have a flyer up here at 5.8 and 5 and any of these icebergs make great oil outposts too and you're far enough away that not a lot of stuff is going to bother you so as we keep going down the coast we're going to find a bunch more resources you'll get a lot of obsidian and crystal on some of these too and coming down along here we've got even more oil nodes they're not as plentiful down here but there are still a few oil nodes scattered throughout the rocks and up over here and this section of the map is right where the snow starts so so uh, we're over here at about 27.7, 7.5 is where we've got this big stone archway and everything in the snow north of that archway is going to be very safe beaches loaded with oil rocks. This oil location is going to blow your mind because a lot of people start in South Zone 1 right here on this very beach and live their entire game without ever knowing they were right on top of the best oil location in all of Ark Survival Ascended. Bear with me for a second and check this out. These corals right here with the bluish purple tint to them, they are oil corals. They've got oil in them. It's a very rare chance for them to drop oil. It's kind of like getting metal from those smooth river rocks. But if we attack them for a while with a metal pick, we're gonna start to see a little bit of oil popping out. There we go, we got two oil from that node and we haven't even finished destroying it yet. I wouldn't recommend going at these with a stone pick because it's gonna be such a low chance but check out what happens when we bring an Ankylosaurus with about 650 melee and a few points into oxygen. So Ankies are actually an amazing aquatic tame. You wouldn't think, they don't look like they can even swim, but an Anki is actually faster underwater than it is on land, especially with some oxygen stats into it, and they can hold their breath for a really long time. And after smashing coral for like 30 seconds in this small area, we've already got almost 40 oil. And later Later in the game, if you go down and tame a Dunkel Osteos and come back here, it's going to get you even more oil from these corals. So the obvious problem is sharks, right? But if we go to this spot on the other side of that little peninsula, we've got this lagoon full of coral, 82.4, 34.1, and there are tons of these blue oil corals right here in too shallow water for sharks. You may still get ray problems and occasional piranhas and raptors, spinos, stuff like that, but still, this is a super shallow ocean, and as you can see, there's like 50 of these blue corals all around this area that you can use to get oil. And this shelf down here is good too. But if you don't mind dealing with some sharks, the coral reef that's full of oil goes from 81.9, 38.1, all the way down the eastern coast of that peninsula and ends at about this rock, 87.3, 30.8, and there are several hundred oil nodes on that stretch. The South Zone 2 starting zone is another amazing place to get these oil corals. 94.8, 56.1 is this peninsula at the southern side of the lagoon, and the south side of the ocean here is covered in coral reefs. 
But this little lagoon right here that's totally surrounded by rocks at 9457.1 has the safest oil in all of Ark. There's probably 10 of these oil corals down here, and nothing dangerous is going to spawn in this lagoon, at least as far as I know. There's a little entrance right here that you can use to get into it, and basically nothing's going to bother you inside there while you're harvesting coral. And then all along this southern coast, there's tons more of that coral in really shallow seas where it's going to be too shallow for sharks to attack you for most of this coral. And this is another reason this is my number one recommendation for my best starting base locations guide for Ark Survival Ascended. Check the link in the description for that, it'll help you a lot. And I'll show you one more spot at 8678.6. This is a really shallow reef full of this oil coral, and it's too shallow for sharks to get to you for most of the time. So this is another great place to pick up that coral, but really just about every place along the southern coast that's got a tropical beach is going to have these corals off the coast. It's just a matter of how safe it is. Now we're here at the very southern side of the map, right about 92.6, 91.5, the south side of Herbivore Island. And if we dive off the coast here, we're gonna find some of the most shallow oil rocks in the game. Now these oil rocks with all the oil streaming up from the top, they still exist underwater, but in Ark Survival Ascended, they've removed most of them that used to be off the shallow coasts. There were a ton of them you could just walk into the water and grab in Ark Survival Evolved. But now, almost all of them are very deep at the very bottom of the ocean. So unless you're into deep sea diving, I no longer recommend going into the ocean for regular oil rocks like these. I wouldn't recommend going to Blue Ob specifically to get oil, but if you're already here for something else, let me show you a couple of oil rocks you can find right along the podium right next to the beam at the Blue Obelisk. There's not a ton of oil and it's a dangerous spot, but if you're already here for something else, you may as well grab some oil while you're at it, and you can upload and download an Anki to this podium as long as you bring a saddle with you. The coordinates are 21.5, 21.6, or just go to the bottom of the giant blue sky beam that you can see from most of the map. Now my favorite oil location in Ark Survival Ascended is my house. I like to tame dung beetles, put them in cages, set them on wander, and as long as they're wandering, in Ark Survival Ascended, they have a new TLC skill where they will pick up poop anywhere around them from any of your creatures. That's right, you no longer have to actually open up the cage, put poop on the dung beetle and throw it back inside and hope it doesn't escape, you can just leave that dung beetle on wander all day long and it's gonna keep cranking out oil and fertilizer. Even though it's not a super fast process, if you get a couple dung beetles working on a base with a lot of dinos, you'll have more than enough oil in no time. I used to have a base that was powered entirely by unicorn poop. They'd poop, the dung beetles would turn it into oil, I'd turn that into gasoline and run the electricity off of it. So anytime you go into a cave, bring as much of the biggest poop you can and hopefully you can tame a dung beetle while you're there and come home with an infinite supply of oil. Not many ARC players know this because it's actually a big pain to tame a Hesperornis, but if you tame a female Hesperornis and get it laying eggs, you can put its eggs into a cooking pot and it will produce oil as soon as they go into the cooking pot and they light up the fire. So it's not a great source of tons of oil, but it's a consistent source of oil if you get a nice Hesperornis farm going. Another great way to get oil is to tame a Bacillosaurus, which is easier said than done, but once they're tamed, a Bacillosaurus will constantly produce oil in its inventory over time. So if you breed up a bunch of those in a water pen, it'll be a constant supply of oil. On the southern shores of the island, on just about all the tropical beaches, in the morning you'll find these trilobites that climb out of the ocean and hang out on the beach. And anytime you find a trilobite, you should definitely kill it and harvest it to get lots of chitin, silica pearls, sometimes black pearls, and usually a decent amount of oil. You won't get a ton of oil this way, but you can get it within a minute of spawning into the game with a stone pick, and it will add up over time. I realize some of my top 10 oil locations in Ark Survival Ascended are not technically locations, but hopefully after watching this video, you've learned how to get all the oil you need in your Ark Survival Ascended adventures, no matter where you live and what your playstyle is. 
If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up so it can help other people. That's really important. And drop a comment. Let me know how you like to get oil in Ark Survival Ascended. And if there's any oil locations or methods of getting oil that I haven't mentioned here that you like to use. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications or else you'll probably miss my next resource location guide that could change your life. Thanks for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. Please give it a thumbs up, share it around, and leave a comment. That helps us so much, and we love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video full of tricks that will help you win at Ark. While you wait, here's more videos you can watch right now, and we will see you in the next video.